How long have I been streaming, by the way? Almost three hours. Huh. Anyway. Position yourself like normal. Hold right again. You don't want to get the quick zip. So do the same setup that you did to get to uh, the gills. Walk across here. Four jumps. But then you're going to want to do the normal zip across there. And sadly... Uh, you can fall into lava there and die if you fall. Otherwise, you'll just go right to here. And this is right where Dungeon 7 is. And this is Garm's Grotto. So, switch to arrows here. <coughs> long jump, long jump, drop off, and then short jump to get into here. Go across this room transition, three arrows, three more arrows. Double jump here. Double jump, double jump, double jump will not move in and then switch and then move over. Then sometime here. Switch to your bombs, climb this ladder. Go up here. Hit that guy. Make sure he dies before you leave the room. You can actually basically just do this and immediately leave and we'll die in time. And that spawns a chest. Then go down here. <coughs> Descend. And you'll just want to time these jumps so you don't get hit by dragon fire. For this, basically just... This room can be really awful, depending. So basically, the strategy is you'll want to jump over the boars to where the ladders are, but not get on the ladders and throw the bomb in the direction of the boars. And probably don't bother to collect any drops they give. So that's good. Get this chest that you should have spawned by killing that guy. <coughs> Drop down. And you're right here. Set up a zip here. Again, use this diamond half cover it halfway up. Normal zip up to here. And then you'll want to fall a bit. And you can go into here, or you can try to zip into here and get hit. Anyway. Double jump and throw bombs, and if you do that, it'll spawn the ladder right as you get to it. And then you'll get up here, go across into this room. So go down, hold on, go down. And basically do that. Uh, I think there's a way you can not get hit by this. I'll be doing individual level tutorials also, which will be a bit more in depth. <coughs> Big bomb those guys and get this coin. So now we have both coins we need for this dungeon. And descend a bit. And kill none of these guys. You don't need to. Oh, whoops. I actually sort of wonder, can you set up a zip off of this? No. So basically, zip points here. Same uh, zip as usual. So... And you'll want to be slow here, because... Basically, you'll want to go over to about here, and then jump down. Going over here will boot you to the main menu. Activate both of these. Grab these, which let you walk on lava. So you can't die to lava now. Jump over there. Double jump there. 
jump onto this, double jump over this, and now you get some enemies to kill to get some last uh, ammo and health. So now I'm set on ammo, basically. And I'm probably good with health, even, because getting hit by this boss is actually a pretty rare occurrence. But I'm gonna make a quick save here. Go over here, just drop in. Switch to boomerangs. This is Garn. So the basic strategy is kite him to the middle, throw a boomerang, throw another boomerang, jump over his rock, repeat. And this is the most ammo efficient strategy, and being ammo efficient is very important at this point in the run. And then he'll die. Keys in the center of the arena. Really easy boss. <laughs> Just saw your message. Yeah, this has been a long stream. For me, at least. And basically, you'll want to probably save up. And then go here. Go this way. And basically, any easy enemies you can kill... or any, any enemies you can kill really easily are very important here because you want 35 ammo by the next dungeon, which is the last dungeon. And 35 is basically the absolute minimum. But you'll pass a lot of opportunities to get ammo, so... Like, 22, I need three more drops, but then I have this room which has, you know, a decent amount of opportunities. And then this guy. And then this is the last stunt. You'll notice it's actually replaced where a poison thing. <laughs> 25xx, I don't know, like 25 minutes might be possible, I'm not sure. So if you're if you still don't have 35 ammo here, keep reloading this room and just kill these until you get enough. And this is alright. Basically, this dungeon is very fast. We're going to use something that we really haven't used before, which is bombing down ladders normally which is just used to fall very fast. So, bomb, and fall. Now, bomb, switch, fall. Then boomerangs. Then grab right here, get hit by the dragon flame, it'll send you down really quick. Switch once to bomb, three more times to boomerangs. Throw those boomerangs, and now... <laughs> Three, throw three boomerangs and then grab on, get onto this platform. This should, killing that head, should take four boomerangs. And now RNG comes into play because these rocks are random. Wait for these guys to start throwing paralysis balls, get onto this one, dodge some more rocks. Get onto this top one after that, and jump over. Kill the head. Alright. And now just kill this way any way you can, this guy any way you can. I'm a personal fan of bombs because they do a lot of damage. And then crown appears, jump, and on the down swing, we'll be able to grab it. And that's your final time. 
and you should end the game with 70%, 71% treasure. And then you watch the credits roll. And that is Hydra Castle Labyrinth, any percent in a nutshell. It only took about... I don't know how long that tutorial is. <laughs> It'll probably be a while before it's edited, but I'll uh, highlight it really quickly. So yeah, that's uh, Andrew Castle Labyrinth. That's the entire route that you need to know. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably do YouTube videos on the individual dungeons, just on their strategies. But uh, yeah, and now I'm going to stop streaming, because I really didn't expect to go this long. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Good night, man.